Hello everyone, in this video we will be covering how to set up Visual Studio 2022 with Unreal Engine. Now keep in mind at the time of filming this video, there isn't officially a version of Unreal Engine yet where Visual Studio 2022 is the recommended IDE. However, currently Visual Studio 2022 is supported in Unreal versions 4.27 and 5.0. And when I say 5.0, I don't mean UE5 Early Access, instead I'm referring to the first production ready release of UE5, which right now is still being worked on by Epic Games. Eventually, there will be newer versions of Unreal Engine that also support Visual Studio 2022. But the reason why you should upgrade to or use the latest Visual Studio now is that Visual Studio 2022 is much faster than prior versions of the IDE. To get a better idea of the performance improvements, you can read this blog article on your own time. Before we get started, the only prerequisite for this video is that you have Unreal Engine installed, whether it's from the Epic Games Launcher or from Source on GitHub. We have videos covering both topics, links to those videos along with all the other pages you see in this video will be in the description below. I recommend getting a version of the engine that supports integration with Visual Studio 2022 out of the box, for example 4.27, 5.0, etc. Otherwise, for older versions like 4.26, UE5 Early Access, etc., you'll have to get a source build version of the engine and modify that to be compatible with Visual Studio 2022. We won't go in depth on that in this video, but we will briefly talk about it at some point. Moving on, first we need to download and install Visual Studio 2022. To do that, go to the Visual Studio Downloads page and just click on the button underneath the version of Visual Studio that you want. In this video, we are going to use the free community version. Then run this Visual Studio Bootstrapper file, which will install the Visual Studio installer. And in the installer, we can customize our Visual Studio installation by selecting different workloads. For Unreal Engine, the three workloads that we need are .NET Desktop Development, Desktop Development with C++, and Game Development with C++. You can further customize your installation by selecting various individual components. For launcher versions of the engine, those three workloads we just selected will suffice. But for Unreal Engine 4 from Source, you will need the .NET Framework 4.6.2 targeting pack, and for Unreal Engine 5 from Source, you will need the .NET Core 3.1 runtime in addition to those workloads. Since I'm using UE5 Source in this video, I'm going to select the .NET Core 3.1 runtime component and start the installation. Once Visual Studio 2022 has finished installing, sometimes you'll be recommended to restart your computer. If that's the case, go ahead and do that. Other times, Visual Studio will open up. If it didn't automatically, then click on this launch button. And if you're not already signed into Visual Studio, you'll be prompted to sign into a Microsoft account, which is optional. If you were already signed in or you just signed in, you'll see this Visual Studio startup window, which we can close out of. Next, if you have multiple versions of Visual Studio installed on your computer, then I recommend uninstalling the older versions. In my case, I used Visual Studio 2019 in a previous video to build Unreal Engine 5 from source, so I'm going to uninstall Visual Studio 2019. Keep in mind, it's not necessary to only have one version of Visual Studio on your computer, but many people have reported various issues with regards to having different installations at the same time, preventing Unreal Engine from using a specific version of Visual Studio. Now I need to rebuild my source build version of UE5 that was just mentioned using Visual Studio 2022, which will require opening up the engine directory in a command line interpreter and regenerating the Visual Studio solution for the engine in a format native to Visual Studio 2022 so that the next time I compile the engine from source, the Visual C++ 2022 compiler will be used. Since I only have Visual Studio 2022 on my machine, this command will default to 2022. But if you have multiple versions of Visual Studio installed, then the version of Visual Studio that the engine will default to depends on the version of Unreal being used. In those cases, you may have to specify a flag that represents the year of the Visual Studio installation that you want to target when building the engine, like so. 
If you downloaded Unreal Engine from the Epic Games launcher instead of from Source, then this part of the video where we just generated Visual Studio project files for the engine, as well as the very next part where we open and build the engine in Visual Studio, won't apply to you because the launcher versions of the engine come pre-compiled, hence they are binary versions of Unreal Engine. In the meantime, for those who have a binary version of Unreal, go ahead and launch the engine because we are going to create a new C++ project. And for those who have a source version of Unreal, if you're getting a target framework not supported prompt, just make sure that you have both the recommended option to update the target framework, as well as the option to remember that choice selected, and press continue. When the solution is ready, make sure development editor is the solution configuration, Win64 is the solution platform, right click the engine in the solution explorer, and first do a clean. After that clean is done, right click again, but this time select debug, start new instance. This will build the engine as well as start it up. And we can see in the build output log down here that the Visual C++ 2022 tool chain is indeed being used to compile the engine. Once the editor has launched specifically the project browser, let's create a new project. We're going to make this a C++ project. All the other project details can be anything you want them to be. The newly created project should have opened up in Visual Studio automatically. If it didn't, then go ahead and open it. And the very first thing I want to do here is just simply build the project. Because I want to make sure not only did the project solution open up in the Visual Studio 2022 IDE, but also that the Visual C++ 2022 toolchain is again being used, this time to compile the project. If your project isn't using the version of Visual Studio that you want it to be using, whether it's the IDE or compiler, we may be able to address that by opening up the project in Unreal Engine. Then from here in the editor, go to Edit, then Editor Preferences, and in here, Source Code. Now whatever the value is here for the source code accessor is what's used to compile your C++ code as well as what's used to generate Visual Studio project files. By default it's set to Visual Studio with no specific year. That means the engine will choose a specific Visual Studio installation to use which may not be what you want. So you can always change this value to ensure that a specific version of Visual Studio is always used. Just note that any changes made in these preferences will be applied after restarting the editor to existing and future projects that use this engine. In addition, for existing projects, the changes may not be reflected until their project files are regenerated like so. And in order to know which version of Visual Studio that Unreal Engine will default to if a specific version isn't specified, you'll have to take a quick peek at the source code, specifically the get default compiler method in the uebuildwindows.cs file. In the release branch, which currently represents Unreal version 4.27, the engine will first try to default to Visual Studio 2019, then 2022 if 2019 isn't found, and finally 2017 if both 2019 and 2022 aren't found. And at the top of this file, there's a list of compilers that Unreal Engine supports natively on Windows. We can see that Visual Studio 2022 is compatible with Unreal 4.27, but if we go back to 4.26 for instance, 2022 is not supported. So if you're using an older version of the engine that doesn't provide out-of-the-box integration for your Visual Studio installation, then you'll have to get the engine from source and modify it in order to make them work together. The pinned comment below will have more information on that. Going back to the project in Visual Studio, I want to go over some helpful IDE settings, most of which are recommended in the Unreal Engine documentation. The first one being the color theme. If you want to change the colors of the Visual Studio UI, then go to Tools, Options, Environment, General, and then you can choose one of these color themes. Second, let's disable the error list window that appears after a build finishes because that list can display redundant information. So from here, go to Projects and Solutions, General, and make sure that the Show Error List option is unchecked. Third, let's enable the map mode scroll bar since it's useful for navigating files with many lines of code, for example, most of the engine code. So from here, go to text editor, all languages, scroll bars, and then you can select this use map mode for vertical scroll bar option. 
Next, let's disable external dependencies folders to declutter the Solution Explorer by going to Text Editor, C slash C++, Advanced, and for Disable External Dependency Folders, set that to True. Also, another important setting in this section, if we scroll a little farther down, is IntelliSense, a code completion assistant tool that will only improve your coding experience, so make sure that it's enabled by setting disabled IntelliSense to false. Then let's turn off the show inactive blocks feature, otherwise any code embedded in macros will appear grayed out. So from here, go to text editor C++, C++ view and then we can change where it says show inactive blocks from true to false after that let's turn off edit and continue features the reason we're doing this is that it's recommended to use live coding rather than hot reload so from here go to debugging general and make sure where it says enable edit and continue is unchecked click ok to save all of those settings Lastly, let's adjust the width of the solution configuration display box so that we can actually see the whole text of the selected option by right clicking the toolbar, going to customize, commands, select toolbar, change the option from build to standard, down here, select solution configurations, click modify selection, and set the width to press OK, then close to save that and if there's something in the toolbar that you notice isn't there but want it to be there you can always add or remove widgets from here by clicking on this down arrow and hovering over add or remove buttons and that is it for this video you are now ready to start developing games in c with unreal engine and visual studio if you found the video helpful then please like comment subscribe join the channel become a patron on patreon and follow our other social media pages special thanks to our higher tier patrons and logical cuber sherwood 2142 michael camisa graham divine james rabo and dwight everhart mark wedge jimmy westcott morgan heineman elise bioblaze Payne, lucas moskin and rick morgan to everyone though Thank you for watching.